Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Cold War video on the channel. This is unfortunately Sunday, so the last day of the beta technically, and a lot of people will be back at school and work on Monday to not really, you know, get the last few hours of the beta. But nonetheless, the full game does release in 26 days time, only 26 days, so make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any Cold War news running up to the release, and obviously all the content I will be bringing throughout the year when the game does drop. It's going to be an insane year for Call of Duty this year, I can already feel it. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the pro MP5 setup inside of Cold War. It's honestly the best MP5 setup. For me, the MP5 is the best gun in the game, hands down. I love it so much. There's so many OP guns in the beta right now, but the MP5, honestly, it does not disappoint. Hopping straight into the class up for the MP5, I do have the Gunfighter wildcard on, so I can have every single attachment slot filled in to make this gun as powerful as possible. For the optic, I have the Microflex LED. The iron sights the MP5, as usual, they're the same every single time. Really good iron sights, I really do enjoy them. But for me, the Microflex LED, the Microflex LED sorry, on the MP5 is so crisp, so clear. You can see enemies so, so well. I know there's a lot of people running into issues this year with not being able to actually see the enemy at range. Honestly, this sight makes it so crystal clear. We have the sound suppressor. Obviously, as we know, you're on the streets. You don't want to be know. You don't anybody. You don't want anybody to know where you're at right now. Obviously, this year it's like the, the original mini map so if you do shoot without a suppressor on your weapon you're going to appear on the mini map so this keeps you off the mini map keeps you stealthy for the barrel we have the 10.8 paratrooper body the steady aim laser just in case some close range engagements i'm going to have to drop the hip fire i need to be as accurate as possible under barrel we have the field agent grip the magazine is the 40 round speed mag honestly 40 rounds in this thing is just so is it enough man trust me and the reload speed is super super quick we have the warden tight grip and the no stock attachment for the stock attachment. Honestly, the ADS on this thing is so quick, so so quick mobility. You can literally rush and play aggressive so so well with this thing, or even play a little bit set back and slow. The no no absolutely no recoil either. It's honestly insane. I do have the Diamati as my secondary. If you guys were wondering, I have the Stim Shot, the Stemtex, and the Field Mic. The Field Mic Field Mic for me is just such a great uh, like field upgrade. Flat Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja. The perks are optional, but I do think these are probably the better perks. Maybe you know we can alternate between. Flat Jacket and um, what is it now? Tank Mask or Ninja and Ghost, whatever you want to play. But I prefer Ninja, so people sound horny. They don't hear me come in, so honestly, I like to stay off the radar. So that is pretty much it for the class up, guys. Honestly, it's such an insane class up. Make sure you try it for yourself. We're going to have straight into the live com right now. I absolutely tear it up. Honestly, it's insane. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, we are playing Satellite Hardpoint using the MP5. Honestly, it's. My favourite weapon right now in the beta is insane. I've not managed to actually unlock all the attachments, but without even all the attachments, it's still a beast. I'm going to kill straight off the bat there. We are contested, so hopefully my teammate can pick him up. He's not going to be able to. He's not seeing me whilst I'm reloading. I'm going to pick up the kill there. Nice. He was so weak. I'm going to push this left-hand side real quick. Try and push out this hard point. Hopefully my teammates can secure it and try and, you know, get on the hill whilst I try and push them out to make sure, obviously, they're not going to run to the hard point. But unfortunately, I'm not going to find anyone, and they are over at the hard point as well. But there is a guy on the dunes here. He's literally one shot. Don't manage to finish him off. Can I finish him off now? There we go. The hip fire on this thing is, I know he was one shot like, but honestly, the hip fire on this is so, so good. I mean, I love the MP5 in Modern Warfare, which is my favorite weapon in that game. And in this game, I'm really, really pleased to, you know, to know it's just as good. Uh, honestly, Cold War for me, I'm, does it feel nicer than Modern Warfare? Obviously, you know, people, I see a lot of people up deba like debating about this. Uh, they prefer Modern Warfare to, you know, Cold War and all these things. And you got to remember, it's the beta. Obviously, there's weapon, oh my god, you're going to get killed. There's weapon tweaks and all other things that's going to be happening uh, after the beta. So, this is pretty much going to be the final game. But there's going to be things that do change, like the level, like what level you unlock things at and all that kind of stuff. Only 26 days until the full game does release as well. Hopefully I can manage to secure the PS5 as well before this. I'm trying to pre-order it right now, but it's sold out everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, I was sleeping when it first dropped. I thought, you know, I'll just get it and eventually. It's, it's not going to sell out. And uh, it literally sold out on the first day. It was absolutely crazy, but surely they're going to re... Oh my god, I'm on a bit of a streak. Please, no! I'm going to get taken out there, but I thought, surely they're going to restock anyway. It's Christmas coming up. They're going to restock real quick. Uh, so hopefully I can get it for release. I'll be really, really upset if I can't. Uh, but, I mean, I should be able to. There's still time. I think it releases November 19th. I think I think it is. Could be wrong. And I'm just going to go for the digital edition as well. I can't remember the last time I bought a physical game. This gun is just insane. They literally don't stand a chance. I'm not even, like, sweating right now. Obviously, I'm just in, like, engulfed in conversation with you guys right now. And this gun... Oh, my God. Please, no. Oh, my days. 
Oh my god, please. How did I survive that? I was one shot on my days. I need to put stim on. I keep forgetting to put stim on my classes. But hopefully, if this gameplay is decent, I will bring a best class up on this thing. So you guys will see the best class up. Even though if that's not what I'm rocking right now, you will see a better version of the MP5. And honestly, even with hardly any attachments on this thing, I think I don't even know what attachments I have on right now. It's honestly so, so good. Literally no recoil as well. That's what I'm so surprised at. One of my Morpher had quite a lot of recoil. Um, but I do see people debating, like I was saying, uh, what's better. I see a lot of people preferring uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, more so, I think they're the Warzone players who prefer Modern Warfare. Uh, talking about just pubs, you know, comparing Black uh, Cold War pubs to Modern Warfare pubs, uh, for me, these are so much better. I, I always prefer the Black Ops games. Uh, I didn't used to. I used to be a big Modern Warfare fanboy all the way up until Black Ops 2, and then my opinion completely changed. Uh, I've definitely been a more fan of Treyarch games, and the Infinity War games did seem to... Uh, not do so well uh, in the, uh, you know, after the Modern Warfare area. Probably after, like, Ghosts, maybe. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like Ghosts, but I liked Ghosts. Uh, but after Ghosts, it seemed to go downhill pretty fast uh, for Infinity Ward. I mean, Modern Warfare was a great game. Definitely a great comeback for Infinity Ward. But, I mean, after they released, was it Infinite War? Infinite Warfare, I, I didn't even play Infinite Warfare that year. Uh, obviously, we had the remaster of the original Modern Warfare that year. Literally just grinded that all year. Didn't touch Infinite Warfare. Uh, I mean, I probably played a couple of games, like maybe maybe f f five maximum, I would say. I think I ended that year like a level seven on that game. I did enjoy the games on that game. Um, I did enjoy it, but definitely not as much as the remastered uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, so for me, it was a bit of a disappointment. And Black Ops games, just such a great series, honestly. Black Ops 4 was... I, I don't know why people slate slated Black Ops 4 so much. Like, there's, I see loads of people hated Black Ops 4. I mean, God, man, it was such a great game. Literally as well. Literally such a great game. I enjoyed it so, so much. But I'm really hoping they're going to add a prestiging again this year. There's a lot of things I want to do this year when the game first drops. I want to try and secure the first gold camo uh, on this game. Literally as soon as I get the game, I'm going to go for the first gun I see. Probably the XM4 if that's uh, still one of the first ARs you unlock. I think the MP5 was actually one of the first SMGs you unlock in this game. I think, well, it's a Milano than the, S than the MP5. But I still think they're base level unlocks. Uh, so I definitely want to try and secure the first uh, gold gun. I'll not be able to secure the first prestige, but I want to definitely prestige in like maybe a day or two after the drop. I think in Black Ops 4, I was second prestige uh, the same week it released. Honestly, I grinded that game so hard. You guys, if you guys are a, you know a, a veteran supporter of the channel, you'll remember uh, on Instagram I posted that picture of the massive Tower of Monster. Literally, the only reason I bought uh, the the monster, literally, I must have had you know the boxes that come with four cans in. I must have had, I don't know, I mean, maybe like 10 boxes, as well as just single cans. Because whilst I was at work, every every morning I'd go to the shop and buy uh, as many cans as I possibly could. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't just buy the full shop stock out, I didn't want to look a weirdo. But I'd always buy like a box and a couple of single cans uh, and just tell myself, oh, I'll use these for work, you know, in the early mornings. Uh, you know, I need a bit of energy, uh, which I didn't end up, I didn't end up wasting them. Yeah, but I mean, maybe like when the game came out, I was probably it was probably a very unhealthy habit, probably drinking like two to three cans a day, because uh, there was actually a cap of how much XP you could have in that game. Obviously, I think uh, you think you can only have two hours per day, or maybe just an hour of double XP on the off the codes. So I think each code gave you half an hour. So I was having two to three a day, and it, that's actually gone into a really really bad habit to this day. Uh, I'm trying to get off them now, but I've been drinking Monster like every single day since. Uh, maybe not every single day. But recently, I've gotten so, so bad this past month. Uh, probably like two to three cans a day. So if you do drink energy drinks like Monsters, Red Bulls, try not to. They're so, so unhealthy. It can cause your heart attacks. It thickens your blood. Uh, this is packed full of sugar. I mean, I have the zero sugar ones, but the fact that it thickens your blood, and obviously with your heart rate increasing and things, or the, the amount of caffeine and stuff in them, really, really crazy. I need to get some more G Fuel. I've not had it in so long. Just for the simple fact it's a healthy alternative, uh, seeing as I do like energy drinks, and I do get a bit sluggish most days. Uh, I have a pretty pretty busy days most days, so it's one of them. But I've not even been talking about this gameplay. I'm, this this live com has just seemed to just be me, me rambling. I've just been sort of just zoned out in the gameplay. I did actually call in a he attack helicopter a second ago. We are absolutely shredding these guys. I think like 37 and 9 right now. Honestly, it's such a great weapon. And the snipers on satellite do absolutely just piss me off to the maximum. Honestly, piss me off so much. Uh, especially in the dunes. I don't know why. Uh, I played a gameplay on satellite the other day. And I must have been against FaZe. I swear to God. Obviously, not literally FaZe, but... 
the whole team, enemy team was sniping and it was the most cracked snipers I've ever played against in Call of Duty. Literally, I couldn't get a kill. I must have gotten like a 10 death streak in that game. Uh, literally just sniping the hell out of me. Like up close as well. They weren't hard scoping me. They were literally zipping around the map, quick scoping me. Like this guy, Kirk Mellon, he gets a nice little quick scope on me there. Uh, and I have sniped in the Cold War. I really do enjoy sniping in this game. I'll be honest. It's really, really fun. Uh, I've managed to get a couple of clips. Uh, I've held back from posting them because my plan is to try and create. Oh my god! Create a little bit of a montage uh, coming into like the end of the beta just before. Uh, whether I'll have enough clips for that, I don't know. I do have around ten clips. Uh, none of them are, you know, absolutely world star amazing. They are pretty decent though. Pretty decent. Like, it's not, I've not. I'm still trying to get the five on. Just for that montage, I've not managed to get a five on yet. A couple of quad feeds here and there, you know, triple heads. Uh, some crazy clips still, but I won't be satisfied unless I can manage to get a little five on or something along them lines. Uh, but still, honestly, sniping in this game is insane. It's calling the artillery strike real quick. Get them away from that hill, even though there's literally one second left on it. And what do you guys think of hard point letting you know where the next hill is? So while the hard point's in the, like, last 20 seconds I think it does show you when the next hard point is going to be personally I do kind of like that feature uh, just for the simple fact I don't know where the rotations are now but say coming from I don't think that'll be in like competitive like professional play because if you don't know the rotations it, it's going to you know you should be penalized for it really you know and your team uh, if someone knows the rotations uh, obviously they should be allowed to just get there before anybody else if the other players don't know do you know what I mean if you, can, if you can kind of gauge what I'm saying, so if the one team's better at the rotations than the other, they, obviously they deserve to have the win because obviously they know what's going off. In my opinion, you know, it's all about playing the OBJ. Whereas everybody can know for it, I guess it makes for everybody know where it is. I guess it makes for, you know, a bit more interesting, you know, a bit more early fights for the hill because obviously people pr uh, rotate early on. The, well, you should rotate early anyway, even in pubs, but uh, if you don't, you should. But in the competitive play, obviously there's like two or three people or maybe the whole team bar one. Uh, would rotate early so it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to play out in uh, you know competitive play and rank play in this game i really hope there's a rank play feature like at least when the, you know when the cdl rule set is announced shortly after that hopefully we can get it early on in the year i just want to grind that i love grinding rank play modes because it just helps you improve as a player in general playing pubs in that is fun and slapping people but it's hard it takes longer to improve uh, as a player i mean even if you are you know one of the best players in the world you still want to improve uh, i know i'm not the best but uh, I feel like I'm half decent and I still want to try and improve and to, to be the best you've just got to keep on improving uh, It's definitely a struggle at times, but we've, we've got 54 kills right now. We're absolutely slapping these kids Jesus literally this game is about to end But literally it helps you improve so much if you are you know one of the newer players who's looking to improve a little bit belt more play a rank play mode uh, when it does come out um, Definitely against people who are you know your skill level or better uh, obviously a couple of people who probably won't be your skill level, but it's super competitive and obviously you will probably die a lot more than you usually would even I do uh, So it definitely helps you improve definitely, you know map awareness and all that kind of stuff Improve helps you improve massively just as a player in general where you go and skill, you know your map awareness all kinds of things Movement that's another thing. That's one of my things uh, What am I doing with that nade one of my things for to improve generally we slap that game 57 and 21 Wow, we absolutely destroyed Oh my days, we got the best play of the game. But one of the things, like my friends who are not as great players, one of the things that they struggle with the most is literally the movement. They're losing gunfights because they can't, you know, their movement's off. <clears throat> so having good movement is uh, definitely something worth uh, looking into improving if you want to improve as a player in general. But that was insane. I was such an insane game. 57 kills, oh my days, we sort of rambled a bit in this gameplay, but oh my life. Okay guys, hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay. That was a gameplay I did get with the MP5 earlier on this weekend, and this is actually my final best sat class up that you saw at the start of the beginning of the video. Honestly, it's such an insane weapon, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you try it out for yourself if you are, you know, savouring the last few hours of the beta, and when the game does drop, I think this is definitely still going to be a top tier weapon. 100% in my opinion. Hopefully they don't nerf this massively because I really do enjoy using it. But apart from that guys, this is unfortunately going to be the end of the video. So if you guys are new around here and you don't want to miss out on any Cold War content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them, they're in the description below. But apart from that guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.